Hi, this is Jack Godfrey, and this is Beginner Qigong. So to begin with today, it's the spring season, the color is green, and we're eventually going to see some green in the grass out there. And the meridians we're working on are the liver and the gallbladder. So one of the things we want to do first is, well, we're going to do our standing posture. So we're doing, once again, our three segments, standing, moving, and meditating. And so we'll start with our standing posture. And this is standing like a tree. So to begin with, we're going to start with our feet in a different place than normal. So we're looking at is stacking the bones. So first of all, shift the weight over here. So you have the shoulder, the ribs, the hips, over the ankle, this knee bent, this leg straight. Then we come over here, we check that the same thing is happening over here. Shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in one pile, and with the feet parallel. And once again, as always, if this causes issues for your legs, your hips, whatever, adjust the stance appropriately. And now we work our way up from our base, from our foundation, from our feet, up through the body. So you want to center the weight between the heels and the toes. So first of all, you move into the toes. This is a small triangle, big toe, little toe, and the ball of the foot. And then you move the weight into the heels. This is the large triangle, big toe, little toe, and the heels. In both cases, the feet are flat to the floor. So you shift the weight into the small triangle, and then you come back into the large triangle. So this makes us more aware of where is our weight on our feet, which helps to make us more stable as we're moving about. So now let's come to the center, put an equal weight between the heels and the toes, bend the knees slightly. So we want to have what's called soft knees here, so you don't want to lock the knee joint. Grab the hips, push down with the thumbs, draw the tailbone into the body, pull the belly button in, lift the ribs. And this gives nice openness to our abdominal area. Next, we work on the shoulders and the arms. So bring the hands out to the side. So the hands about the same height as the elbows. Turn them away from each other and bring the shoulder blades towards each other on the back. And what this is doing is opening up the chest here, making for a little more openness in the lungs as well. And now from here, we're going to, we lift the chin, we gaze to the horizon, lift the top of the head to the heavens as we're trying to lengthen the spine here. And now we move into standing like a tree. So you bring the hands up. So remember to bring those shoulder blades towards each other. You want to have the center of the palm about the same height as the eyes. And so th this means that roughly you want to have the elbows about the same height as the shoulders. The hands are a little bit forward. You want to have the middle finger over the index, over the big toe. And so we hang out here. Inhale, draw the chi up the inside of the legs. Exhale we send the chi back down the outside. So inhale, we breathe in, draw the chi up into the brass basin. And exhale, we send the chi out, down the outside of the legs from the brass basin into the earth. So inhale, we move forward onto the small triangle. Exhale, we move back onto the large triangle. So inhale, we push against a breeze. And exhale, we let the breeze push us back. Inhaling. Exhale. And we, we breathe in for four and we breathe out for four. So inhale. Exhale. Inhaling, exhale, one more breath, exhale, so let the arms come down and we adjust the feet back to our normal narrow stance here. 
So pick up the toes, pick up the heel, swing the heel around so it just about touches the ball joint of the other foot. Lift the heel, lift the toes, swing on the ball joint, bring the foot back. So this is our narrow stance, standing in Wuji. And next we're going to pull down the heavens three times before we move on with our active part of this session. So it's inhale, gather the chi from the earth, look over the shoulder. Turn to the opposite side as you reach up to the heavens. And then bring the chi down from the heavens and in to the brass basin. So inhale. Exhale. And again. So today we'll be doing some warm-up movements and then we'll be moving into the golden chi ball. So to begin with, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to start with turtle back breathing. It's, it's all, I also think of it as the summer and winter movement as well. Because the imagery is this, so a dragon's back, you lift the ribs, you, you lift the tailbone up the back, you lift the ribs, you lift the chin, you lift the head, and you look up and you open the body. And this is like, oh, it's so sunny out, I'm welcoming the warmth. And then the turtle back, we tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, drop the ribs, stretching the spine. And this is, I'm wrapping myself in a blanket. It's cold, it's winter. So we're gonna go through the summer and winter it's, the movement is known as turtle back breathing. So we start here. So inhale here, we come up. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll do one more cycle. And now we move on to shake the dragon's whiskers. Or sorry, swinging the dragon's whiskers. Shaking the dragon whiskers is pretty much the same thing. And we're going to be turning from side to side here. So we start looking this way. And then you bring the hands around, you turn the head, and you look behind as the hands come to the hips. So it's inhale here, and exhale. We're getting a good twist in the spine as we look behind us as much as possible. Inhale. Exhale when you twist, inhale at the front. And we'll do a couple more of these. And last one. All right, next one we're gonna do is some side to side bending as well. So we're gonna be doing the arm movements from the two healing sounds, one for spring and one for summer. And so we start here, you hold this hand up, you bring this hand here on the liver. So it's inhale. And then exhale, we reach up, we stretch to the side and we look to the hand. And then inhale, we come on down and we change hands. We hold this one out about shoulder height, the other hand over the heart. Inhale, exhale. So we're looking to stretch the side. Inhale here. Exhale.
And we'll do one more on each side. So this is one of them. And that's the last part of that. So that's the warm-up. And now we'll move into the Golden Chi Ball series. So to start with, we have our feet back in that narrow stance. And we're going to start with shaking the nine gates. Your hands are wet. Shake the water off your hands. And so you want to get the hands twisting here. And we get the elbows, the wrists, and the shoulders going. And then we add in the knees, the hips, and the ankles. And the last set of three is the lower back, the ribs, and the neck. So exhale as we twist to the side. So inhale here. And then exhale. Inhale. So shaking the nine gates, the nine gates are places in the body where the chi, the energy flow, the blood flow tends to get stuck because the joint is stiff, congested, inflamed, and it's difficult to get the joint to move and the chi to flow. So the elbows, the wrists, and the shoulders, one set of three. The hips, the knees, the ankles. Second set of three. The final set of three. The lower back, the ribs, and the neck. And now, should have some pink in your hands, a little bit of tingling going on. And this is us bringing the chi out to the extremities, warming up the hands and feet. So next, we move on to standing on a boat. We're back to our small triangle, large triangle again. So you shift the weight onto the small triangle, and then you drift it back into the large triangle. And we add into this. So as we move forward and back, we're using our legs to help move the chi, move the lymph fluid up out of the legs and into the torso. And now we add on to this. So you lift the ribs, lift the chin. You stretch the front of the body. You shift the weight into the large triangle. You stretch the back of the body. So you inhale. We have a dragon's back here as we lift up. And exhale, a turtle back as we look down. So you inhale, we come up. And exhale, we look down. Now we add the arms to this. So inhale as the dragon's back, we lift the arms about shoulder height. And then exhale with a turtle back, we lower the arms. So inhale, exhale. Once again, a count of four on the inhale, and a count of four on the exhale. Inhaling. We lift the gaze. Exhale, we lower the gaze. So the small triangle, a dragon's back. Inhaling. Exhale, a turtle back. Large triangle. So two more of these. All right, the next one is Phoenix ascends the flame. So for this one, you lower you want to lower down and reach for the earth. But to do that safely, you want to do it with a dragon's back. So you lift the tailbone, pull the belly button in, lift the chin, lift the ribs. And we come down like this with a strong back, inhaling. We continue in a dragon's back here. And then exhale, 
we draw the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale. Exhale. So inhale as we come up, small triangle. And then large triangle. So inhale. So inhale, gather the chi from the earth and bring it in to the brass basin. So we draw the chi up and then imagine grabbing a beach ball and pulling it in to the lower abdomen. Inhaling. And we'll do one more of these. All right, and the next one is monkey leaps from a tree. So for this one, again, the feet are still in the narrow stance. We bring the hands up. So we have a bit of a dragon's back going on here with the hands like this. Exhale, we sink down, put the parcel down, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, stretching the spine. We come up, exhale, we lower down. Inhale. Exhale. We catch a parcel. We sink down. We put the parcel down. And then coming back up, stretching the spine. Exhale. And one more like this. And that's that movement. Next, we move on to snake rises from the grass. And so for this one, you may find it beneficial because we want to put our hands between our legs. Perhaps the feet, you feel more comfortable with having a little bit further apart. So that's what I'm going to do with my feet. We're a little wider than the narrow stance. So, snake rises from the grass. We gather the chi from the heavens. Bring it around to the kidneys. So the hands are here on your back. So the rib, bottom ribs are here. So that's where the wrist is. And the fingers are pointing down towards the heels. Now from here, the hands come around just above the hips down the inside of the leg. So you bend forward with a dragon's back here. Lift the chin, lift the tailbone. And we come down. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, stretching the spine. We come back up. So you want to put the palms against the legs as you come back up. You come across the bottom of the hips, up to the ribs, and then drop that chi in to the brass basin. So here we go. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, we gather the chi. Exhale, we fold forward. Inhale, we come up. Exhale. 
So inhale, we're on the small triangle. Exhale, we're on the large triangle. Inhale, small triangle. Exhale, large triangle. So we'll do two more of these. So just a comment about this one. So we're, I'm folding forward and I'm bringing my palms, my wrists to the floor. This is not usual for a lot of people. It's been more like I've been looking at the floor and waving at it and that's as close as I can get. Well, you know, 50 years of doing yoga quite, quite uh, frequently has stretched out my hamstrings and made my hips very flexible. So putting my palms on the floor, it happens. If you're going, well, shoot, you know, I'm not getting my hands there. Well, that's pretty normal. And so you come down as far as you're comfortable. So for example, we come here, we come up, and then we fold forward again, keeping the chin lifted, the tailbone lifted, and you go, well, this is as far as I can get. Well, this is excellent. This is where you need to be then as we come back up. So don't beat your body up trying to put your palms to the floor. All right, the next one we're doing is embracing the sun and the moon. And for this one, we need to be in the uh, stacking of the bone stance. So step out to the side. And now you get the shoulder, the ribs, the hip, and the ankle all in one pile with this knee bent and this leg straight. And then we come over here, see if the same thing's happening. We may need to adjust this leg a little bit because hips aren't equal. So shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in one stack, hence the name, stacking the bones. This knee bent, this leg straight. And now, come to the center, fingertips in the belly button, pop the hands out, turn the hips, so you see the foot between your hands. Now push with that foot, let the hips turn, let the torso turns, and you wanna see the other foot between your hands. So you push with that foot, the hips turn, and there's this foot. And so as we move from side to side, you start the movement by pushing with the hands and letting the hips turn and letting the torso turn on top of the body. Now we're over here. Now turn the shoulders a little bit on top of the hips and hold a ball here around about shoulder heights, not way out here, just right around here. Push with this foot. The ball comes down to the center and continues up. So the hips turn, the torso turns, and the arms rise up. So exhale, we're here. Inhale, we come up over here. So watch the ball, watch the chi ball as it moves from side to side. So exhale, and inhale. Exhale, the ball comes down to the brass base and then rises up. So we gather some chi from the moon and we draw it in. Gather some chi from the sun and we draw that in as well. So inhale some cool white chi into the brass basin and inhaling some hot golden chi in as well. So inhaling, exhale, inhale, Exhale. So you push with the foot, the hips turn, the torso turns, and the arms follow. Push with the foot. Inhaling, we come up. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, we're up here. And exhale. And we'll do one more cycle here. And we bring the feet back to that narrow stance. So lift the toes, lift the heel. You just don't want to touch the other foot. And we swing back. So standing in Wuji, the narrow stance. 
And next we're working on clearing the seven energy centers. So the energy centers and the chakras are the same thing in the same places. So we start with the root, the navel, the stomach, the heart, the throat, the forehead, and the crown, the top of the head. So we start with stirring up the chi in the brass basin. And we bring it up the back and down the front. And now we draw some of that chi out and we hold it here at the surface of the body. So we're on the small triangle. Exhale, we push down to the root. Inhale, we move to the large triangle as we draw the chi up and through at the navel. Exhale, we push down. Inhale, we come up and we come through. Exhale. Inhale, you lift the gaze. Exhale, we lower the gaze. Now we move up to the stomach. Draw the fresh chi through, freshening up that energy center. And we do each one of these typically three times. So this is the third one coming up. And now we move up to the heart. Inhale, we draw the chi up the back, up to the heart. We come through. And then exhale, we come on down. So we're on the small triangle and on the exhale, the large triangle. Now we move up to the throat. Once more here. And now we move up to the forehead. So inhale, exhale. So a dragon's back on the way up. A turtle back on the way down. Once more here. And now the top of the head, the crown the Baha'i point. Once more here. And now we come down one at a time, starting with the crown, the top of the head. And now the forehead. So we're on the small triangle with a dragon's back. Large triangle, turtle back. And now we come up to the throat. The heart. The stomach. the navel. And once more at the navel for the root. And now we'll pull down the heavens three times before we move on. So it's inhale. Last one. All right, next one is gather the clouds to make a jade pillow. Jade pillow, it's the bump at the base of the skull at the center of the back of the neck. So it's right there, there's a little bump sticking down. And so we've got these tendons coming up and that's right in between. So that's the jade pillow. And so what we're doing is we're gathering chi from the heavens and we're bringing it to the jade pillow. So it's inhale, we gather the chi. We bring the hands around, open the elbows wide, you know, have the hands rest on the back of the head. We're into a dragon's back here with the elbows wide. 
And then we tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, stretching the spine. We're in a turtle back as we come forward. And then inhale, we come up, opening wide again, and the dragon's back. And then we draw the hands down the sides of the face. We straighten the long white beard, and we draw the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale, gather the chi from the heavens into a dragon's back. And then exhale into a turtle back. Don't pull on the head. Inhale, we come up, opening wide. And then exhale, massaging the gallbladder meridian. We draw the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale. Inhale on the small triangle with a dragon's back. Exhale, large triangle with a turtle back. Inhale, we come up, opening wide, lifting the ribs. And then exhale, we draw the chi in to the brass basin. Last one. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Now the next movement is oh, return to fetal position. And so for this one, we use a robin's egg fist to gather some chi from the heavens. So robin's egg fist, you open the hand and you bring the thumb across and you bring the fingertips to the thumb. So you have an open fist, which I can put my thumb through, my finger through, whatever. So I'm able to bring both hands forward, gather some chi from the heavens into this robin's egg fist. Bring the hands around to the kidneys just below the ribs, the back of the hands to the kidneys, like so. And we lift the ribs, lift the chin. And then, so this is all on an inhale. And then exhale, we come down, we bring the elbows towards the knees, the head towards the wrist. So we're in a turtle back here. And then we come up, over across the lower abdomen, up to the ribs, and then down, in, to the brass basin. So inhale, gather the chi, bring it around to the kidneys. We come forward as we lower down. Inhale, we come up and exhale. Inhale. Inhale, we gather the chi, bring it around to the kidneys. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, we come up. Massaging liver 14 just below the ribs here as we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale. And once more.
And now we move on to the last movement in the Golden Chi Ball series, leading the Golden Chi Ball around the small circuit. Small circuit starts from the root, the Ho Yin, goes up the back, up the governing vessel, over the top of the head, so it goes past the Baha'i point and comes down to the roof of the mouth. And that's where the governing vessel ends. The conception vessel starts at the lower lip and goes all the way down to the Hoi Yin, the root, the tailbone. And so we're going to take some chi and we're going to move it around the circuit several times. So we start with, yet again, stirring up the chi in the brass basin. Do this three times. And now we draw some chi out and we hold it here at the surface. Now it can be a golden chi ball, it can be bright, it can be sparkly, it can have a matte finish, it could be dull. It's whatever your imagination is. And we take that chi ball and holding it at the surface, we push it down to the root as we drift forward. And then we draw it up the back on the small triangle. Then exhale, we're on the large triangle as we bring it down the front. So inhale, we have a dragon's back going on. Exhale, a turtle back. Inhaling. So inhaling for a count of four as we've been doing all along. And exhale for a count of four as well. Inhale, small triangle. Exhale, large triangle. So inhale, draw the chi up the back, up the governing vessel. Exhale, down the front, down the conception vessel. So once more. All right, and now that's the end of the Golden Chi Ball series. So we mark the end with pull down the heavens three times. So it's inhale. Last one. All right, so now we're moving into the healing sound, and we're going to go through this, uh, well, briefly. We're, we're getting close to running out of time here. So the healing sound for spring is to do with the liver, and the sound is shh. So it's like be quiet. And so we're exhaling, and we're making that sound. So we start here, hold the right hand up about shoulder height, palm up. Put the other hand on the liver. So I like to put my thumb on the sternum and the hand just below the ribs. So it's inhale, we gather some chi into the palms of the hand. And exhale, we come up, we move to the side. You watch the hand as we go here. So it's inhale. And twice more. And we come on down. So the uh, the color for spring is green, as you would imagine, with all the grass turning green, the leaves coming out on the trees, 
on the energy just coming up out of the earth and in to the to the plants and so once again you're here and what we're doing is we're gathering a chi ball in our palm a green mist green glowing mist so it's inhale gather that chi and as we bring the hand up the chi flows down the arm and through the other hand arm and in to the liver so in visualizing we gather that green mist in our palms and then exhale we send it down the arm across the other arm and in to the liver and now we're going to move on to doing the animal for this season as well so the animal associated with spring is the deer and one of the reasons for that is a deer can leap amazingly high we're not going to leap today but we're going to do some of this here so you take your hands and you take the middle two fingers you tuck them in and you hold the first finger and the little finger up so these are the antlers of the deer and so what happens is you sink down and then you breathe in so it's inhale and exhale you rise up you lift your heels you stretch to the heavens so inhale and once more and I forgot to make the sound so one two three and again and last one and you let the hands come down and now we're going to wrap up this series with pull that no with the five directions which we're going to do briefly so we start here the feet are back in that stacking of the bone stance and we move forward on the small triangle we lift large triangle we come back inhale we go to the right side sorry we go to the right side here exhale then both hands we come to the center inhale for a count of four exhale for a count of four inhale we go to the left for a count of four exhale inhale we go to the right for a count of four and exhale for a count of four here center and then this takes a count of eight so we're here for four and we're here for four so we'll do this twice more last one and to the center that's it for today so thank you for coming and taking part in the class and I look forward to seeing you again 
next time.